Chapter 5 is about gases. Everybody breathing today? You gotta breathe, right? Every day you move about 8,500 liters of air in and out of your lungs. That's a lot of air. 25 pounds of air in and out in the course of a day. Breathing is possible because your body can cause pressure differences. It uses your diaphragm. When you breathe in, your muscles pull down on the diaphragm. They expand your lungs, make the volume larger. The pressure then decreases, and it sucks air in. When you breathe out, your diaphragm pushes up, compresses your lungs, making the volume smaller. Pressure goes up. The air comes out. That's breathing. What's pressure? Well, we know, oh, I'm under a lot of pressure at work right now. That's, that's a different kind of pressure. <coughs> In chemistry, pressure is the force exerted per unit area by gas molecules as they strike the surfaces around them. So here we have an illustration of gas molecules. And the gas particles are just zooming all over the place. And when they run into something, they exert a force. Okay. Anytime something runs into something else, there's a force involved. And the force spread out over a certain amount of area is what is pressure. Okay. So if you poke someone with the end of a sharp pencil, or if you poke them with the flat palm of your hand, you could apply the same amount of force but it's going to hurt a lot more with the pencil, right? Because the same force, much smaller area, the pressure is much higher. You push them with the palm of your hand, it's not going to hurt because it's spread out over a larger area. So the pressure of a gas is going to depend on several different factors. It's going to depend on the number of gas particles in a particular volume. That is concentration. If you have more gas particles in a small area, there's going to be more collisions and there's going to be more, more force and more pressure. It's going to depend on the volume of the container. If the volume is larger, they're going, the particles are going to run into it less frequently, and so the pressure will be less. And it's going to depend on the average speed of the gas particles. The faster the particles are going, the more force they're going to exert. And so you can think of this in terms of Oh, maybe kindergartners. Kindergartners running in the classroom, right? There are going to be more boo-boos when the kindergartners are running in the classroom. There's more pressure because they hit each other harder when they run into each other. If you have 20 kindergartners in a room or two kindergartners in a room, there's going to be more boo-boos with 20 children running around. Just two are probably not going to run into each other as much. You take those 20 children and you put them in a much larger room, they're not going to run into each other as much, and so the, the number of boo-boos is going to go down. Right? The pressure is going to go down. So maybe that helps, maybe it doesn't. So when you inhale, your lung volume increases, that decreases the pressure, like I mentioned before, and then nature doesn't like difference in pressures. And so the gas outside, the air, is going to come into your lungs. That constant external air pressure causes the air to flow in.